We appreciate this extraordinary best-selling author who put together this very powerful book. We've had books on concerning health and healing, but this book does something different unlike any other book. Never Be Sick Again, One Disease, Two Causes, Six Pathways. Health is a choice. Learn how to choose it. I'd like for this extraordinary best-selling author to give us his name. After you give us your name, what in the world are you talking about that I can never be sick again? Good morning. Hey, good morning, Alvin. This is Raymond Francis. Uh, yes, we don't have to be sick. Uh, the you know, First of all, we have this incredible epidemic of chronic and degenerative disease, which is sweeping not only the United States but the world. Uh, and it's it's crushing us. More than three out of four Americans have a diagnosable dis- chronic disease. Uh, when it comes to people over age 65, more than 90% of us have a diagnosable chronic disease. Our children are now so sick that uh, this is going to be the first generation of American children in 200 years that will die younger than their parents. So we've got a problem, uh, but we have a solution. See, we already know how to end this epidemic of disease. The information is there. Uh, It's been accumulating for 100 years. The problem is nobody is accessing it. We keep getting more research dollars to do more research, and we keep doing more research. But doing more research has become an industry. It's, It's just an end in itself. Nobody is taking the research that we've already done, putting it together, and putting it into clinical practice. Well, when you do that, you find what we have is we have the solution to every disease already. We don't need to do more research, and we don't need to have the disease because we already have the solutions. In fact, I'm writing a whole new book right now on how to cure cancer. We know how to cure cancer. We are, we've known it for, uh, for 100 years, but nobody has taken it, put it together, put it into clinical practice. So what I've done in in my book, Never Be Sick Again, is I've taken all of the science and reduced it. You know, it's a very complex science in um, molecular biology, cellular biochemistry. Uh, I've taken all of it and boiled it down, reduced it down to the basic common denominator that you can literally teach to a child. In fact, we do. We teach it to children. uh, And you don't have to be sick. Well, let's look at the uh, ingredients that you have here, one disease, two causes, and six pathways. Won't you give me the one disease, the two causes, and the six paths? Well, again, we're trying to simplify here so that we can teach this to the average person and empower the average person to not only prevent disease in their life, but to cure whatever disease they may have. And what we, what we find, see, all of us are made of little units of life called cells. And each cell is, a, is an independent unit of life. We, we think of ourselves as a, a thing, a body. We're not. We're really a community of cells that is acting together to create our bodies and to let us do what we do. Well, if every cell in your body, see, we start life as one cell in our mother, and then we, we, we graduate up into hundreds of uh, tens of trillions of cells, Um, If every cell in your body is functioning normally, you cannot be sick. That's the bottom line. So if you are sick, it's because you have a large number of cells, a massive number of cells that are malfunctioning. Well, cells malfunction for only two reasons. They're either not getting what they need to function properly, and we call this problem deficiency, or they are getting something that is interfering with their metabolic machinery, interfering with their genetic instructions, and we call this problem toxicity. So we have a a situation here where we can reduce it to simple thoughts. There is one disease, a malfunctioning cell. Now, when the cell malfunctions, it can create thousands of different symptoms, and we mistake this and believe that there are thousands of different diseases. We think that that diabetes is different from Alzheimer's, and Alzheimer's is different from cancer, and cancer is different from asthma. No, it's not. They're all the same thing. They're all malfunctioning cells producing different symptoms. 
um, what you're looking at is cells that are malfunctioning for different combinations of deficiencies and toxicities, all acting through a unique set of genes. So when you do that, you get different symptoms, but it's really only one disease. It's a malfunctioning cell due to deficiency and toxicity. Now, once you understand this, it, it just takes all the mystery out of disease, and it makes health simple because if you're sick, what you need to do is restore normal function to the cell by paying attention to deficiency and toxicity. When you restore the cell to normal function, whatever is wrong disappears. Well, that makes so much uh, sense, Doctor. I mean, I don't see why no one has thought of this and presented it in the way you did. Now, give us the six paths to deal with those two causes. Well, again, we're trying to simplify here. So we're trying to give people a simple system that anybody can put to use in their life. So we have this simple system of one disease, two causes of disease. And then to make it easier, um, I've developed six pathways to disease. Well, what's that about? Um, consider that there's two cities, and like we call one city health. Let's call the second city disease. And now let's have six major highways connecting the two cities. If you're driving toward health on all six highways, where are you going to end up? you're going to end up in health. Likewise, if you're driving toward disease on all six highways, that's where you're going to end up. And that's where most Americans are headed. They're headed toward disease on all six highways. And here are the six highways. The nutrition pathway. Um, are you getting adequate nutrition? Are you giving your cells what they need? Most Americans are not. The second pathway is the toxin pathway. Here again, the average American is in toxic overload, and so we're all driving toward disease. The third pathway is the psychological or the mental pathway. What you put into your mind is actually more important than what you put into your body because your mind runs your biochemistry. So, um, and here again, what we put into our mind is under our control. <clears throat> so, we can choose the thoughts we put into our mind, and a lot of people are putting in thoughts of resentment, thoughts of anger, thoughts of disappointment, uh, instead of putting in love and, and, and positive thoughts. Now, this sounds a little woo-woo to some people, but in fact, it's good science, and we've measured it. People who put good thoughts into their mind are healthier than people who put bad thoughts. Uh, I ran, in fact, I had one lady come to see me. Uh, she had cancer. She had all kinds of problems. She had had a very nasty divorce 20 years ago. Every day for the last 20 years, she reran that movie in her mind. So every day for the last 20 years, all the stress, all the distress of that divorce was being relived. No wonder she was unhealthy. So just as we can choose what we put into our mouth, we can choose what we put into our mind. And people who put healthy thoughts and happy thoughts, thoughts of love and compassion, uh, thoughts of gratitude are much healthier. So we can do that. We can change it. The next pathway is the physical pathway. Um, we already discussed the fact that to be healthy, a cell has to be given what it needs, in other words, good nutrition. It has to be kept free of toxins that can screw up the metabolic machinery. There's another thing that has to be done. The cell has to be moved and stretched. That's where exercise comes in. We need to exercise. We need to do physical activity. Uh, we need sunlight. Uh, we need to prevent ourselves from being injured. Uh, so there's a lot of things in the physical pathway that are important to our health. The next pathway is the genetic pathway. And here people are, are really, uh, they don't understand the genetic pathway at all. Most people think that we're born with these genes, and the genes, if, if you have bad genes, you're just going to get sick. 
if, if cancer runs in your family, or diabetes runs in your family, you're going to get cancer, you're going to get diabetes. Well, that's just a lot of nonsense. Genes run your life, but guess what? You run the genes, so you run your life. What you need to do is learn how to run your genes. Um, the genes respond to the environment that you create for them, the biochemical environment and the mental environment that you create for the genes. So here again, we go back to what are you putting into your mind? The thoughts you put into your mind will actually affect how the genes operate. So healthy thoughts, happy thoughts will make the genes operate in a different way. Um, and the biochemical environment, in other words, the diet that you eat, the environment that you create inside your cell, what is the pH inside the cell, uh, what is the potassium, sodium potassium ratio inside the cell, all these things are under your control. How many toxins are inside the cell that affect how the genes express? We can take, you know, the here's, here's how it operates. Uh, genes, um, your DNA talks to your RNA, and your RNA produces proteins, and the proteins talk to your body and tell your body what to do. But let's look at a single gene. A single gene can create as many as 30 thousand different proteins. All of those proteins will tell your body to do something different. How does the gene know which protein to produce and when to produce it? You tell it. So you are in control of your genes and you can learn how to do that. Uh, you can actually reprogram your genes. You can learn how to do that. So the genetic pathway, very important. And final, the final pathway is the medical pathway, uh, and that's a tragic pathway because uh, medicine today is way behind the science, has not kept up with the science, and the result is that our doctors do a lot of damage because they're using a, a rather primitive form of medicine. Uh, on the other hand, our doctors do some miraculous things as well. So in the medical pathway, we teach you how to differentiate between the medical miracles and the medical disasters so that you can take advantage of the miracles and avoid the disasters. So those are the six pathways. This is a simple system of one disease, two causes of disease, six pathways to disease. Uh, once you master this, you can literally do anything. We've had people with terminal cancer. This ha the reason I'm writing a book on cancer is because people bought never be sick again. People with terminal cancer, they go home, they cure their cancer. And then they write us letters and they send us emails and they make phone calls and they say, thank you, thank you, thank you. You know, I read never be sick again and my cancer is gone. Uh, how do they do that? Well, real simple. There's no such thing as cancer. There's no such thing as any disease. All there is is this. A cell that is working the way that's supposed to work and a cell that is not working the way it's supposed to work. And when it's not working the way it's supposed to work, it's because of deficiency and toxicity. If you properly address the deficiency and toxicity, if you revert the cell to normal function, whatever is wrong simply disappears. And that includes terminal cancer. And that's why I'm writing a whole new book now just on how to cure cancer, because it is so simple. Well, thank you so very much, Doctor, for sharing this very important work. The name of the book is Never Be Sick Again, One Disease, Two Causes, Six Pathways. Health is a Choice. Learn how to choose it. Before you go, we only have uh, less than a minute. Tell me the role of joy, euphoric uh, feelings, laughter as it relates to health, and then tell me how to get a copy of the book in about 30 or 40 seconds. Well, uh, the joy and the laughter is the best medicine you can have. And it's the cheapest medicine. It's the best and the cheapest. And the book's available at uh, Amazon.com. It's available in Barnes & Noble. It's available everywhere. Uh, and you can go to my website, beyondhealth.com. Uh, it's available at beyondhealth.com. But if you'd like an autographed book and a free copy of my, uh, my one-year one year subscription free to my newsletter, uh, call this number, 800 250 3063 800 
800-250-3063. Again, 800-250-3063. Call that number. Uh, get a copy of Never Be Sick Again. You'll get an autographed copy, and we'll throw in a one-year free subscription to my newsletter, Beyond Health News, one of the top newsletters in the country. Or go to beyondhealth.com and, and explore if, tons of information there. Well, your book is definitely the one book that we need to have. It's the Health Bible, and I look forward to talking to you some more. This will be featured at dralvin.com, the website, dralvin.com on Facebook, and dralvin.com on YouTube. You have a great and wonderful day, Raymond. Thank you so much. It's really been a joy, and, and God bless you. You're doing a great job for your listeners. Thank you.